Welcome to the Mysterious Accent Channel. In the last episode, Kim threw milkshake at Usman. So yeah, this is definitely her signature move. And she's upgrading it. Because the first time she threw something, it was just water. In the second time, it was a milkshake. I wonder what she's gonna throw next. Let me walk. Just let me walk. Okay. Just leave me alone. Okay, fine. She's angry with him because he wants multiple wives. For some reason she's okay with the idea of sharing Usman with a second wife. However, he was talking about three and four wives. Then she got really angry. So she's taking some time to calm herself in the hotel's garage. But now she's gonna go back to the hotel room and she's gonna have a serious conversation with him. What am I here for? I didn't come down here to be this unhappy. And I had every right to ask questions. I was more upset that I had to talk to somebody that's in a totally different relationship than when the one we would have been in. This guy, his two wives live together. Like, that's crazy to me. I don't relate to that. That's what happens when you accept to have a relationship with a man that wants multiple wives. Eventually, the wives are gonna meet each other. I don't think there's any way to avoid this. The only way to avoid it is to not engage in a relationship with a man that wants multiple wives. Then you did the water, now you do the meek. That's not right. I threw this stuff because you never let me finish a thought. And I felt like you made me look stupid in front of your friend. That's how I felt. What amazing world it would be if we could throw stuff at each other every time someone interrupted us. It would be wonderful. In the past two years, I have made you my life. I've put everything on the back burner and you know this. If this is gonna go, fine, we don't have to get married, we don't even have to be in a relationship. If this is how we are going to go, I want to end it. Period. There is absolutely no way Usman is gonna end this relationship, because Kimberly is his big old ticket to America. She's the only way for him to become a big star in the US. She is his green card. Where are you going? Where are you going? Going down to have some coffee. Damn, I think she panicked a little bit by the mere thought of him leaving forever. But luckily for her, he's just gonna have some coffee. I honestly don't know how it's possible for a woman to be so in love with a man that wants multiple wives. I've only been here a couple days and this was like the biggest argument we've ever had in two years. I don't know if I want to go home, I don't know if I want to stay, I don't know if he wants me to go home, I don't know if he wants me to stay. I think you should go home and find a man about your age. Or even find another man that's 20 years younger than you, whatever. Just avoid any man that wants more than one wife, because obviously you can't handle it. I wake up this morning and I still have the grudges of yesterday. Kimbali threw the milkshake on my body and I do not expect that behavior from my future wife. So she's going down to have another conversation with him and hopefully it's gonna be a more friendly conversation this time. Thank you. Just enjoy your coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't forget, what you're having there is coffee and it's hot water. Don't throw it. I'm not gonna do it again, I promise you. Damn, Usman was probably fearing for his life when he saw that hot water in front of Kim. If I was him, I would measure my words very carefully. He's gonna have to be very polite to her during this conversation. Last night was the first night, except for when I threw the water on you, but last night was the first night you've ever seen me like that. It's hilarious how she contradicts herself in that sentence. It's impossible to take her serious when she says that she's never gonna do this again. I think she is gonna do something like this again, and honestly, if he's not careful, she might do it now, this time using that hot water. You told me that the first wife gets all the love, and yeah. the second one was kind of just like a baby maker. That's what you told me. Like, I don't get the whole story. I get, like, the things you want me to hear because you don't want to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's not that... The subject matter didn't get me mad, it's the way you're handling it with me. Kim is completely delusional if she really believes that Usman is not gonna develop any kind of feelings towards the second wife. It's just ridiculous. I'm pretty sure she knows what a baby maker is, right? I am very sorry if I offended you in any way. Look how polite he is. He's definitely afraid of the hot water. How many women from America would actually come down here, be in love, fall in love with somebody 18 years younger than them, and then be okay with them taking a second wife. Like, I don't feel you give me enough credit for that. 
at all. This is true, there is absolutely no way other woman would do something like this for him. A woman gotta be extremely crazy and desperate to accept something like this. She's really unique in that regard. I really want to you know, like, have a good time because today, you know, don't forget today is my birthday party. Do you want me to go? I want you to come. But honestly, I'm scared now. I need where I'm going to if you're gonna be around there. But I want you but to if understand. If I get, get mad, I'll talk to you in private. I won't do it like in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Good. Like I'll never do that. You'll never see that side of me again, ever. Okay. So yeah, just like he said, today it's his birthday party. So he's gonna go to a club with his friends. And let's see how it's gonna go. Is she gonna throw something today? How are you? I'm fine. Welcome back. What's up? I'm good. Welcome. Hello. I've been expecting you to see this. Thank you. What's it done? Sorry, I came late. So yeah, Usman has a female friend and by the look on her face, I don't think she's happy about it. After all, since Usman wants two wives, this woman could be a candidate for the position. Usman did not mention to me that he was bringing a female friend to his birthday party. He's just sitting there and I'm like, who's this chick? She's really pretty. I mean, I'm really confident in myself, but she's everything I'm not. But I've shown him signs before that I'm not a jealous woman. Maybe jealous of their age, but that's about it. What? When did she show signs that she's not a jealous woman? She's fighting with the guy all the time because of this two wives situation. I think she likes to pretend that she's not jealous, but obviously she's not comfortable with the situation. I mean, who can blame her, right? It's not easy to accept something like this, but it's what we do that define us. And her actions are showing that she is jealous. Babe, I'm gonna talk to, I wanna talk to your friend. Who? Your girlfriend, because she's the only girl here with me. My girlfriend, oh my female friend. Your female friend. Oh, Can we switch seats, me and you? Oh, oh, so surprisingly, this time Kim actually behaves because Usman's female friend is just a friend, at least that's what she says. Lucky for her because I don't even want to imagine what Kim would have done if she was a candidate to marry Usman. After all, there is a lot of beverage on the table. So, like, Usman didn't tell me about you? He doesn't tell me, like, he has female friends. I'm like, is this the one he's gonna marry? Like, what? Oh, that's no. what was going on. No! No, no, no! That's what was going to my head. The party was very friendly, no problems at all. So now they're gonna travel to another city because the main objective of Kim's trip to Nigeria is to get the blessing of Usman's mother. They cannot marry without her blessing, so this trip is very important. Last night was fun, huh? Yeah, it was. Kimbale had the bad day yummy last night. It was so great. I think it's one of the reasons why she's just smiling this morning. <laughs> So yeah, apparently she behaved so well last night that she was even rewarded with some sausage. However, she's still worried about the second wife. I want to talk about the okay. second wife thing. Just you and I though. I don't I, listen, babe, babe. I don't mm. want an argument. We don't need to argue. I just want to talk. Okay. Before they go to the other city to talk to his mother, they're planning to stop to have a romantic lunch. But since she wants to talk about the second wife, I don't know if it's gonna be as romantic as it should. There's no point going to meet your mom and talk about her blessing with an engagement if we can't come to an agreement on this second wife thing. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I know that my second wife is gonna be from Marisa. Oh yeah, because she's not gonna be from America. <clears throat> no, you don't know. No, you that. don't know. No, I told you No, that. you don't know. No, that was it. No, you don't know. Honestly, I don't see the difference. I think it's gonna be tough for Kimberly, regardless of where the second wife lives. A Nigerian or an American second wife is gonna be just as bad. If, if this, whoever your, your second wife is from America, it's not happening. I told you this. If I have an American lady who lives in America and she's a house by tribe and she can conceive and give me a child, I don't think I should be deprived from that. Why does he need to marry a second wife to have a child? I know Kim can't do it because of her age, but I'm a little bit confused. Are they not allowed to adopt children in Nigeria? Or maybe he can't adopt a child because of his religion? I don't know, but I feel like this would fix every problem. Because if they adopt a child, he won't need a second wife to have his child and Kim is gonna be happy. Why are you giving me Thomas and condition like you're doing a big favor for me in this world? I came here to have a conversation. I didn't come here for this fucking yelling. Then why are you doing this? All I said was that on the phone and on video chats and stuff, you always said that you wouldn't marry anybody from America. That's what you told me. And then when I asked you this little question I wrote down, it's like now that changed. I'm accepting a lot. And these questions came from you my heart. You're not accepting a lot. 
What the fuck do you so mean? Bali I'm not, not accepting that. No. Usman is also completely crazy if he really believes that she's not accepting a lot. Because he has already said this multiple times. There is absolutely no way any other woman in America would accept all of this. I have plenty of from everywhere in the world. I say no to them and I say yes to you. Because you love me. You're I not doing you. me a fucking favor. Okay, if I love you at your age and you love me at my age, do you think you are doing favor for me? That was really mean. He's acting like he's a prize to be won. I think he gotta admit that she indeed is doing a lot for this relationship. She's kinda crazy because she's always throwing stuff, but come on man, she's accepting a lot. You're doing 20% out of 100, I'm doing 80. I'm marrying second wife because I want God to have a child. Me. God help me. So she can be from America, Jamaica, Europe, Nigeria, my region. You can't get to half these places, so why you can't go and have sex with her to have kids anyway? I'm not gonna, you're not gonna do that. Because if you, you do it, there's no point in me going oh to Sokoto. Because that's like a deal breaker for me. I think the meeting is, is done, right? All right. In the preview of the next episode, she's gonna meet his family. She's a good person. And I actually want to be around her. I feel that his family has already judged me before they're even giving me a chance. Our mom, she is very, very eager to see her grandchildren from you. My name is Mysterious Accent. If you want to see the end of the story or if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to do videos like this about the full story. That's it for today. See you in the next video.